Hey guys, long time no see. This is going to be the first in uh, hopefully a long series of videos. I been, haven't been on YouTube for a while, uh, but I'm about to start traveling full time. I'm going to become a professional van dweller, traveler, drifter, professional bum. <laughs> anyway, I'm due to start uh, next week on Monday, the 25th, and unfortunately, my solar panels gave out. Uh, so this little video is going to show my new panels and the uh, the rigging I had to do in order to install them. First a little background. Uh, I purchased these panels right here which are the uh, Renogy 100 watt flexible monocrystalline panels. Now I started having trouble with these uh, panels last two or three weeks I guess in that it was not or they were not keeping uh, my battery fully charged at first I thought maybe it was the charge controller the battery seemed to be fine so I switched out the charge controller from a PW, PWM to a MPPT uh, charge controller and unfortunately that didn't work so I got a multimeter and once I taught myself how to use it uh, I started checking the connections and sure enough one of my panels was not working. Uh, so I called the Renogy company and it turns out that these these flexible panels here are actually on recall. Uh, they're apparently a fire hazard. Uh, they get overheated so Renogy doesn't even make them anymore. So bonus, I get two new panels uh, for free essentially. Um, I was able to get their 100 watt uh, Eclipse monocrystalline panels, which are supposed to be more efficient than their regular model. I don't know. We'll see how that works out. But the problem uh, with my install today is that the panels are of different size. The new panels are uh, shorter by about an inch or so. And what I did with uh, my panels here, I made this custom frame because I had it mounted on a different vehicle so I needed some sort of rigid frame and I don't really want to put my new panels on this frame plus I wanted to do some other things with it so I'm gonna have to uh, take you through the steps of of what I'm going to do here and as I go about putting this stuff together I'll film more okay here's a big problem I have with my install with my previous frame, I put these brackets that you see here into the roof, down on the other side, and I don't want to move those for obvious reasons. I mean, you can see here, I've got this drilled through the roof into the uh, interior of the cab, and I've got a lot of die core on there, and I don't want to mess with all that. So it's going to be interesting to try to rig this thing up. All right, here are my new brackets. Uh, I'm sorry, here are my new. Uh, solar panels and first step was I secured them together utilizing the brackets that you see there and for a little added security I went ahead and put some uh, some screws in there those are self-tapping metal screws and this thing is nice and tight alright next step once I got the solar panels mounted together and secured tightly I installed these hinges on the original uh, mounting Z brackets that came from Energy. And again, I used my self tapping sheet metal screws. It's nice and secure. Next, my final step was to install the remainder of the uh, brackets here onto the rear panel, rear part of the panel and that allows it to hinge in the front. And I can lift this up and then put a support. So let's see if I can do that without turning off the camera. Good old aluminum here. Lift that up. And there you go. I can use aluminum poles of various sizes to uh, make virtually any angle that I want as far as the tilt goes. Um, and then once I'm done, I bring it down 
and I can secure the brackets onto the original Z brackets here with, uh, I can go ahead and screw it in or just secure it with uh, C clamps which is probably what I will do um, since really the weight bearing portion is right here and that, and that meets up with the frame so it actually fits better than, than I thought. So there you have it. Install of my new Renogy uh, 100 watt monocrystalline panels and everything didn't go completely according to plan but it was pretty close. So uh, I think everything's pretty secure. If it comes flying off down the highway I'll let you know. Pretty soon I'll have this camper van all put together and I'll be hitting the road but before I'll do that I, I will give you a uh, complete tour of the inside. So until then